All right, so here we have a raven field, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on squads. So we just took the final base here, and it was mainly because of the squad that we had, and it definitely helps out. So on the left side of the screen, you'll see where I have my machine gun or my pistol or my weapon selected. I have my health, and it says no squad. By simply aiming at one of these characters here, but then not fully zoomed in, you click G, and suddenly they join your squad. They're following you. And I'll get these two guys to go ahead and join me for now, and we'll get you as well. So now we have these three squad members that are joined with me. They'll follow any of the instructions that I give them. I can go ahead and click G on an open area, and now all three of them are going to go ahead and move to attack that location. They'll get there, and then it'll say from moving, it'll say holding. So now my squad members are holding in that location. If I aim at the ground, they'll join me. So there we go, squad following. And if I get myself in a position like this, let's say I'm hiding behind this and aiming outward, you can see they're all going to come to this location and try and cover me. If there's enemies in the open there, they'll get behind you and naturally take to terrain, but it's not perfect here and there. So you'll just have to be wary of that. Your squads are really useful if you want to be able to like flank and get around any positions, such as we saw the way this turned into quite a bloodbath here for all the red teams. But we also have a lot of blue out there where we were under a lot of attack. Everyone wanted to take this main corridor, but our squad was able to sweep around. So let's go ahead and show that off with an actual run with our squad. What I'm going to do is everyone's going to be taking these main attacks, but we're going to flank around the left here. So I'm going to grab a couple teammates right at the spawn. And there we go. I got three following me. And we're going to run around this left side here, flanking to the... Uh, top left of the map. Everyone else is going to run down the center and that's where they run into a huge amount of conflict. But with my squad coming around this way, this little back corridor, usually there's just a couple enemies but not a whole slew of them. Or there's quite a few. And now it's good that I have my squad with me to back me up. Oh boy. Alright squad. So far, there's only one squad mate left, but we'll hold them off over here as long as we can. This will at least make it easier for our home team. Hopefully with the enemy all oh, distracted back there, sure enough, our team was able to take the middle base. Nice. And that's the advantage of using a squad to be able to uh, do things that might be a little non-standard. Right here, I'll just grab a couple of these guys and suddenly we can go ahead and do something else. Looks like I mostly got snipers. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright. Well, that ends this on the uh, tutorial on how to use squads. Squads are pretty darn useful. Across the board, I could take these guys up to a different location, come in with a different attack and game plan. And that's what's awesome about squads in Ravenfield, this awesome little game. I hope you all had a good time. I hope this showed you exactly what you could do with the squads and how useful they could be. Peace. And we might as well get some B-roll here in the background where we finish off the enemies here. I'll take my squad up this way. And again, we're using the flanking, where we're going to flank around the back. We already have a couple teammates doing the same this way, so... Oof! Snipers. Ooh. Shoot him! Get him! Get him! Go, squad! Get him! Get him! Yeah. Alright, let's wreck these guys over here. <laughs> oh, they got me. Let's do this. 